here today? What are you hoping to convey? Uh, with the help of the Almighty to just reveal to the world the truth that Netanyahu is uh, a con job. They're coming to, uh, to intimidate the world and to tell the world that supporting of Israel is supporting Judaism, uh, supporting the Jewish people, they represent the Jewish people. They in truth have hijacked the name of Judaism and our symbols. Zionism is a transformation from the Jewish religion into uh, nationalism. It is totally contradictory to Judaism. Judaism is spirituality. Not to kill, not to steal. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. We are forbidden to steal the land from the Palestinian people. We have been living with, for hundreds of years in every Arab and Muslim country under the protection of the graciousness of the Arab and Muslim lands without a UN or human rights groups to protect us. What has changed? Since the inception of this political movement called Zionism, around 100 years ago they started, and the state is a little over 60 years, that is when the turmoil, the mistrust, and the endless river of bloodshed has happened. We want the world to know they are not Judaism, they don't represent God, not the Jewish people. Jewish people, true to the Torah, to, to Judaism around the world, stand the vehement opposition to the state of Israel, to their oppression, and stealing the land from the Palestinian people and in Gaza. We embrace the people of Gaza and Palestine. We cry with them. We feel their suffering around the world, across the board. Every very religious Jewish community is totally in opposition to the state of Israel and cries with the people of Palestine and now with what happened in Turkey. We pray for the speedy and peaceful dismantlement entirely of the state of Israel. This is the impediment to peace. It is forbidden according to the Jewish religion for Jews to have their own state. Till we wait for the day when God will make a miraculous change where all humanity will recognize God and we will all go up and serve God in harmony. It will be spiritual. It won't be a, Jew, a state. The state of Israel never. What they're doing now is using to push their nationalism, to legitimize this illegitimate, evil, and selfish nationalistic state of Israel. They're using the religion. The world should know this is the greatest Nakba. This is the greatest tragedy. Jews in Palestine from day one till today. Where's the sign where they're being destroyed? We'll show you that Jews are being murdered today and demonstrating against the Zionism, against what they're doing to the Palestinians, what they're doing to the Jewish people, and they're being murdered. Why is this? Because the world thinks it's Judaism. It's not Judaism. We're forbidden to have a state. We're forbidden to oppress the people of Palestine. We just returned from a delegation from Gaza. We brought medical aid. We went to, uh, to Ankara. We visited the people from the flotilla who are sick, who are injured by the state of Israel. And we want the world to know this is the view shared, united by every Jew who's true to Judaism. Let us all pray for the speedy and peaceful total dismantlement of the state of Israel, the return to the people of Palestine, the indigenous people, the Muslim people, the land, the right of rule over the whole entire land, so we can once again live in harmony, Jews, Muslims, and Christians. The world wants Jews, Muslims, and Christians to live together. They didn't say that Zionism has to be part of this the equation. It is just bringing bloodshed. It's the only thing that's bringing bloodshed. Take it out of the equation. It's just it's the new neighbor to the block, less than 100 years. What do you need that for? It's the cause of all bloodshed. Would God bring a speedy and peaceful dismantlement of the state? And then we, we, we can live together in harmony. We can show our gratefulness to the people of Palestine and all Arabs.